Hi, welcome to Wilson Library. I'd like to introduce you to Mooster. He's ready and excited to research his History Day topic. Today, Mooster History is visiting resource-filled Wilson Library at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities campus to research. Lucky for Mooster, Rachel, a History Day expert, is here today. Hi there. Do you need help? What's your topic? Atomic bomb Hiroshima. All right, let's look in the catalog. Look at all these sources. You should try to find this book here at Wilson Library. Start with this and good luck, okay? Check it out. Goldie Gopher is at Wilson Library today too. I bet he can help us out. Let's check back in with Mooster in the study area. How's it going? Oh wow. Good stuff. Do you think we should find more sources? Let's ask Goldie for help. Goldie! On your History Day visit, you'll use call numbers to locate books in Wilson Library. Here's a couple examples of different call numbers. Now don't panic. I'll give you some hints to decode them. In Wilson Library, there are Dewey, Library of Congress, and Government Publication call numbers. In the catalog, you'll see them as one row, but on the books, they'll be split up like this. Read them line by line. When you get to the shelf, you'll see that letters in the call numbers are ordered alphabetically. So for our example here, you'll look for the D's first. You'll find them between the C's and E's. Easy, right? Next, we've got numbers. Most numbers will be in regular counting order. But, just to make things even more exciting, some numbers might be in decimal order. Break out those math skills. Back to letters, so we go alphabetical, then numbers, and so on. The last lines might contain year and volume information. Whew, that's a lot to think about. Let's take a quick break. All right, back to business. Wilson Library is a big place, so we'll show you around. You'll have your own special area on the basement level to hunker down. You'll find computers, restrooms, and copiers on pretty much every level. You'll find books on each floor, too. Use your call numbers, this chart, and the library signs to determine where to find your books. Here's how to read the chart. If your call number starts with a letter, find your book on floor 2 or 3. If your call number starts with a number, look for it on floor 3 or 4. Once you're on the right floor, follow the library signs. Let's go find some books. We can follow Mooster and Goldie. Once you are in the right area, look at the call numbers on the ends of the shelves. They will help you narrow down your search. When you find your book, there might be lots of other resources on your topic nearby. So look around for related titles. Oops! You might even need a friend to help you out. You might see some words like folio and quarto. Folios and quartos are just books of bigger sizes. Look for them in their own areas of the library. For example, on the fourth floor, you'll find them over here. Just keep that in mind when looking for your books. Remember the government publication call number from before? You'll find all government publications on floor B. They are great primary sources. You'll find documents from sources on everything from the Weather Bureau, the Patent and Trademark Office, to the War Department. Now, I'll be honest, they can be tricky to locate, but library staff will be around to help you. So, all your research paid off. You found something amazing and want to copy. Sometimes a phone picture just won't cut it. Then use a library copier instead. There's one on each floor except floor 4. You'll need a Gopher Gold card to pay for your copies. Purchase a card for $1 on the basement level at this machine. Add more money to make copies. Copies cost 17 cents each. 
Don't forget to get an image of the title and author of your books, too. You'll need that for your citations. If at any point in your research process you want books that aren't at your library, you can request books to be sent to your local library through Interlibrary Loan. Sweet! Ask your teacher for more information about Interlibrary Loan. There's more in Wilson Library than just books. Remember to use electronic resources, too. Try searching in the databases. There are tons, and you'll find both primary and secondary sources there. Copy cool things you find to a flash drive or email it to yourself. Creating a History Day project is a lot of hard work, but it's also fun. You better believe Mooster and Goldie are having fun researching. Hold on a second. We're not done yet. First, I've got some things for you to remember. Look for both primary and secondary sources. Find books and electronic resources. Bring a flash drive, notebook, and writing utensil. Come prepared with your call numbers. If you can't find something in the library, ask for help so you can have a productive, and fun day at Wilson Library, like Mooster and Goldie. All library rules were followed. No dancing was filmed in Wilson Library. Mascots may not be available for your research day. Warning, participating in History Day research may lead to side effects such as making your friends jealous, becoming obsessed with history, and impressing your parents and teachers. 